guys and this look i will be doing sort of a golden state warriors naked tutorial i've done like three did one a year or two ago did one before this one i don't know if it'll be the first before this one but this is like the third because this is my second golden state warriors outfit and i had to do something i didn't want to be too matchy matchy this time i did do a bright blue liner but I kept everything else pretty non-traditional as far as the colors, the team colors and all of that. But if you are interested in an outfit of the day, I'll have a link down below. Info on the hair, being an info box, hairstylist information, all of that good stuff. Who colored my hair? Same person. Hairstylist. Info box. Check her out. Highly recommend her. Any other questions, leave them below. If you have any other stuff, or if you want to see the look, stay tuned. I took my pair like paint pot first as a primer all over the eye. I then tried a new technique at random. What I decided to do was take my LA Splash Blush Proof Sealer Eyeshadow Base or Eyeshadow Sealer Base and you can find it at Ulta or somewhere else that sells LA Splash. That's where I got mine from a long time ago. What I did, I took the applicator, the doe foot, and brushed it on the brush because I've already done an other eye and I have blepharitis pretty much severe around this time of year. I'm not going to put the brush directly onto the brush because I've already used it. But at first I did do it. All you do is brush it all the way across until it's nice and wet and glossy. If you're doing both your eyes at once, that's a great time to do it. If you're doing one and then filming and then showing the other, then you might not want to do that. But instead I'm going to brush it on the back of my hand. It's a little more sanitary. I'm taking the brush now onto my hand rather than the container. You could do this anyway if you don't want to contaminate your product. But I am wetting a tiny colorful online brush with that product. I'm taking my LED Shine 8 color eyeshadow palette in number one from Born Pretty Store. I'm grabbing the silver right here. It's going to really help it be nice and metallic like it is on the other side. I'm just digging my brush into there literally to create kind of a soft paste oxymoron. <laughs> and let's see how about that much on there. And I'm going to glide it across the lid. In the crease, I'm taking an orangey color. I'm taking Earth and Glow Minerals San Juan Citrus or Sun One Citrus. You could also take a Rule Eyeshadow from MAC, something like that. I'm using a fluffy brush. This is going to serve as my buffer shade in the crease area. I want a slight sheen as my brow highlight, so I'm taking one with a slight sheen. <laughs> I'm taking Bea Chiffon Milani. Bay Eyes eyeshadow using Matte 272. On the outer V, I'm taking a Coastal Sense BRC SO8 brush and I'm taking this gold color in the same palette, this one right here. This is going on the outer V. I'm lining the top of my eyes with my NYX Studio Liquid Liner in Extreme Blue. Taking my LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer in Medium Beige. But before I start blending it out, I forgot to apply my eyeliner. I'm taking my MAC Marine Ultra Chromographic Pencil to the water and lower lash line. I'm taking my MAC Sea and Sky Duo. I'm only using the dark blue side. It looks like this. I'm going to set that color with that shade. This is like one of MAC's best eyeshadows, hands down. Don't know if the formula is still the same though. I'm going to go ahead and blend out the concealer with the Sedona Lace 224. Taking the Rimmel Wonder Lash Mascara. And because I love how my lashes are looking today and how they're popping, I'm going to skip lashes. I'm going to apply my Y Solo Thong Tu Chocolat Illuminating, not Illuminating, yes it is, foundation. NB70. I'm taking a Royal Care Cosmetics foundation brush, which needs to be washed. Gonna make my snapback a little more ratchet. Get my hair out of my face. I 
I actually think I'm going to throw this away because it's shedding all over my face and I'm really tired of it. I might see what I can salvage by squeezing this together with pliers. I don't know. But it's pretty much falling apart on me now. That sucks. Focusing more on a bronze look rather than blush. So I'm taking my Sun Power Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC. Taking this brush from T-Mart. Going to focus on contouring like I said. I'm also going to focus on highlighting, taking superb extra dimension skin finish from MAC with a 165 also from MAC. I'm going to take a bold red lip. This is the Giordana Modern Matte Lipstick in Matte Style. It's a beautiful red color. It's actually my first time putting it on, so I have no idea how beautiful it is. It looks beautiful. <laughs> This actually kind of reminds me of 4th of July, totally unintentional, didn't do that on purpose, I promise. Hope you guys enjoyed this look, I will zoom you in one final time. These are the eyes, the cheeks, and lips. Pictures of the final look will be on my blog on thebeautybow.com, also if you're interested in another Golden State Warriors outfit. This is it, and if you'd like to see what I'm wearing, check the info box. I have an outfit of the day post link for you. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments, and I will respond as soon as I can. I'll talk to all of you soon. Thank you for watching.